Inside a chunk of diamond smaller than your fingernail, scientists have just discovered something that shouldn't exist. Not just a new material, a new phase of matter. And it breaks the very rules of time itself. The biggest problem is, no one fully understands how it works yet. Not even the people who made it. So, let's take a peek and try to figure it out. The story started over a decade ago. Scientists created the first time crystal. Sounds like some mysterious component for a time machine, but it's something even weirder. Take a regular crystal and check it out under a microscope. Like everything around us, it consists of molecules and atoms. What makes crystals special is that their atoms are arranged in a repeating pattern. A salt crystal, for example. If we look at it, we'll see a repeating pattern inside it. And this pattern is the same everywhere, no matter how large or small the piece of salt is, or what shape it is. In the whole crystal, it's unchanged, and it will remain the same no matter how much time has passed. You might also know that all the atoms around us are constantly moving, even at very, very low temperatures, when everything freezes and nothing can stop them. Their movement is random, chaotic, and unpredictable. They're just jiggling in space. But time crystals have their own special quirk. Not only are their atoms arranged in the same pattern, just like regular crystals, but these atoms also moved in a looped, endlessly repeating dance. It's super weird. The atoms in time crystals are like an endless dance party. All the guests repeat the same moves in the same order over and over again. The movements in these dances can be basic and simple, or overly complex and chaotic, but they're always looped in time, hence the name. Now, just to clarify, these crystals aren't the kind we're used to. They don't look like gems, diamonds, emeralds, or anything like that. Actually, they don't look like much at all. The beautiful name Time Crystal describes a new, very strange kind of matter the changes in quantum states, which is what we call the weirdly looped dancing atoms. But even after scientists discovered them, there was something even crazier about them. These dance movements, for some reason, persist, even at absolute zero temperature. In all normal materials and objects, if we cool atoms down to such a crazy degree, they would freeze, lose energy, and stop moving. In time crystals, they continue their endless dance as if nothing happened. Oh, and that was only the beginning. Scientists also got stunned because the existence of time crystals seemed to violate the second law of thermodynamics. Now, This law states that over time, any system becomes random and distorted. For example, a warm coffee will distribute its heat and become cold. Ice dropped in the water will eventually melt and unite with it making water colder, and so on. At first, they thought that time crystals broke this law, because it seemed like their atoms can move indefinitely, like a perpetual motion machine. It seemed like not only do they move constantly in the same pattern, no matter what happens to them, but they don't need any energy to do so. But then it turned out that they do require energy after all, either from lasers or magnetic fields. So even though they're little marvels, they don't break our physics laws. Um, yet. There were theories that this stuff could exist. Time crystals were first predicted in 2012 by a theoretical physicist Frank Wilczek. Not all physicists accepted the theory at the time. Many believed that the crystals would violate the second law of thermodynamics, which means breaking physics. But the universe really doesn't care what scientists think. And Frank Wilczek won a Nobel Prize for one of his works. Still, some scientists were skeptical about this until time crystals were invented for the first time in 2016. Research from the University of Maryland managed to create one. They did it like this. First, they took a regular crystal and cooled down the atoms inside it to near absolute zero, almost stopping them. Then they started shocking these atoms with lasers. It made the atoms switch between different states repeatedly without absorbing any energy from the laser. You could say that the laser gave them a beat and made them dance by themselves, without anyone's help. The result was the first time crystal ever. This was an amazing breakthrough. And ever since then, physicists kept studying time crystals to see what else these guys could do. 
The biggest problem was that such perpetual motion only truly exists forever in ideal time crystals. And since the time crystals in our experiments weren't ideal, they lasted only a few minutes before they melted and started behaving like regular matter again. But that didn't stop scientists. They wanted to make time crystals stable and usable. In 2021, they made another breakthrough. Researchers at Google collaborated with a bunch of big universities and used Google's quantum computer to create a much bigger and much more stable time crystal. If we managed to implement this property, these crystals could help us get closer to full-fledged, usable quantum computers. One of the biggest problems for this technology was memory. But the loop dances in time crystals might help us store information on a quantum level. That would be absolutely insane. Now, another thing scientists aimed at was a new kind of ultra-precise clock. Time crystals could also help us with that. And now, in 2025, they finally achieved big new successes. They took time crystals even further and created a time quasi-crystal. It's like the jazz version of a time crystal, more complex, a bit more chaotic, yet still coherent and weirdly beautiful. A team led by the researcher Chong Zhu created an atom's dance that was based on the golden ratio. The same perfect number we see in nature in seashell spirals and sunflowers. In most time crystals, Adam danced to a simple beat like tick-tock, tick-tock. In time quasi-crystals, they gave these guys a melody in Phrygian scale over a Fibonacci-timed beat. In simple words, their movements became complex, not looping anymore, yet it still feels like actual structured dance, not random noise. Like a mosaic where no tiles repeat exactly, but still form a wonderful pattern. They started with a tiny chunk of diamond. Then they started hitting it with high-energy nitrogen atoms, knocking some of the diamond's carbon atoms out of place. That left behind empty pockets. Electrons rushed in to fill them, creating little quantum systems inside the diamond. Each of these pockets was highly microscopic, and the final system had over a million of them interacting together. Then came the microwaves. Using the magic of two overlapping pulses and golden ratio, they stirred the quantum particles into this bizarre, orderly, not looped time rhythm. And just like that, the time quasi-crystal was born. What they got was a stable, non-repeating atomic rhythm in time, something that, mathematically speaking, shouldn't be possible. And it's an entirely new phase of matter. So this isn't just a cool physics trick. It's a doorway into a part of the quantum world we barely understand. Normally, when you pump energy into a system, it either settles into a pattern or falls apart in chaos. But this one did neither. It found a new kind of order. But more than that, it might unlock technologies we haven't even dreamed of yet. Quantum systems like this could be shockingly stable, which is gold for quantum computers. Finally, quantum memory is on the horizon. Quantum computers could use these time quasi-crystals to store data long-term. Next, quantum sensors could use their incredible sensitivity to detect even the tiniest changes in the environment. And finally, the ultra clock we mentioned before, it's coming too. These crystals would help timekeeping devices be ultra-precise. Of course, we don't need this in daily life but it will be incredibly useful in science. Strangely enough, it turns out that the same fragility that made these crystals difficult to handle also made them perfectly tuned detectors. All this is theory for now, but as scientists continue to study this, some usable tech might not be far behind. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.